Tyson Fury retained his WBC heavyweight title, the perfect right uppercut after six one-sided rounds against Dillian Watt. Fury, 32-01 received the hero's welcome from a record 94,000 Wembley crowd after five consecutive fights in the United States, including his career-defining trilogy with Deontay Wilder. The 33-year-old pledged to retire after facing White, and, if that remains the case, he was able to enjoy a trouble-free victory lap against a challenger who failed to get anywhere near solving heavyweight boxing's most complex puzzle. An anticipated all-action barn burner did not materialize but the finish was immaculate when it came in the six, as Fury uncorked the beauty of a shot on the point of White's shin. He shoved his opponent back to fashion space for a follow-up punch but the Brixton man crumpled to the canvas. A divisive figure for so much of his career, Fury's prolonged ring entrance soundtrack variously by Don McLean's American Pie and Sex on Fire by Kings of Leon as he perched atop a throne was a moment of pure validation. White unfurled a surprise by starting the fight in a southpaw stance, which briefly perplexed Fury but he found his range with a couple of clean rights to win the round. A legitimate top 5 heavyweight in the world who has led the WBC rankings since November 2017, White quickly became aware of what an impossible proposition his former sparring partner has become. In rounds 2 and 3 he took aim and missed with wild right hands and was picked off at mid-range. Referee Mark Lyson gave both fighters a talking to in the fifth White for use of the head and Fury for punching on the break, but the bodice natcher's attempts at roughhousing backfired as he ended the session with damage around his right eye. So often a dangerous menace of a heavyweight, White had been reduced to trudging dutifully forward in straight lines and was being picked off in the fifth. Fury was landing cleanly but not with any particular velocity. All that changed with the picture book finish to the fight. Possibly, one of the great heavyweight careers of modern times, Fury the master of all styles, in the build-up. Fury spoke of having something akin to a tear-up with White but it quickly became apparent that was never on the cards. The disheartening thing for any Fury opponent is that you have precisely the fight that he decides is going to take place. He and Deontay Wilder went hell for leather because Fury wanted to impose himself to beat up the bully against White, a more depth fighter at close quarters and in the clinches. What was the point? Instead, he put him on the end of Chris Blanc's shots in the center of the ring, measuring and lining him up for the glorious finishing salvo. White's long vigil not worth the wait. White had been a major inconvenience in victory or defeat for every man he has faced in his career. Those qualities ensured he navigated a long road 1,634 days as the WBC number one contender, to be precise to reach his moment of destiny at something close to the peak of his powers. But for what? If the action had gone any longer, then it would probably have only got more demoralizing. Fury was on another level but that is true of him against any heavyweight today. Why could still be one of the main beneficiaries of his conqueror's restated intention to retire. Final curtain for Fury. Retirement talk from any boxer is to be taken with a heavy grain of salt. But if this is the last we see of Fury, what a way to go. The uppercut to close the show was the kind all fighters dream of. A shot any heavyweight from history would be delighted to call their own. If that is where the Tyson Fury conversation belongs now, in the Pantheon, they stacks up pretty well on account. As W. Letimir Klitschko and Wilder high watermarks alone, you can imagine him being an inconvenience for any fighter in the division's stored past. As for the current crop, it would be fascinating to see the lavishly skilled Oleksandr Usyk crack the Fury code, while Anthony Joshua would ensure another blockbuster Wembley night. Fury would start both fights as a heavy favorite and indication in itself that he has nothing left to prove. Or in Ganu next for Fury the Entertainer. There is, of course, a caveat to that retirement talk, with Fury's commitment to the quiet life at home and more can maybe not set in stone. I will not rule out exhibitions get some of that Floyd Mayweather money. I'm an entertainer he said at the post-fight news conference. Big Francis Ngannou was on my list. UFC heavyweight champion Ngannou took a break from complaining about the apparent paucity of his pay packets from Dana White to appear in the ring at Wembley and tell Fury to the hero of the hours to like that. I want to find out who the baddest mother on the